بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قال لم أكن لأسجد لبشر خلقته من صلصال من حمأ مسنون He replied It is not for me to prostrate to a human you created from sounding clay molded from black mud Reading this statement it is difficult to disagree We should not prostrate to a created being But having a good argument or even making a true statement doesn't make you right. These half-truths and snappy soundbites are dangerous, presenting a falsehood in a manner that makes them seem correct, something shaitan is a master of. The ability to put forward a strong case to defend the indefensible is his specialty, and this verse is case in point. What Iblis fails to acknowledge is that the command to prostrate came from the creator he is claiming to venerate. So disobeying him in obedience to him is self-contradictory. We live in an age of memes and reels where the average tweet is only 28 characters and TikTok video only 32 seconds. When people's attention span is so short, sound bites prevail. over nuanced arguments truth is reduced to the one with the sharpest wit boldest claim or provocative image yet a good argument does not make you right our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam warned us of making a strong case for a falsehood explaining you people present your cases to me some of you may be more eloquent and persuasive in presenting their argument than others So if I give someone's right to another wrongly because of the latter's presentation of their case I am really giving them a piece of hellfire so they should not take it The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam was sent as our teacher He could have received revelation to judge between people yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala willed that he judge as any human would to expose us to the inherent flaws within ourselves and the justice system and command us to be god-fearing when putting forward our case he knew people could lose a case when they are innocent and win a case when they are liable and he put the onus on them to fear their lord in another narration he appeals to the judges when two men come to you seeking judgment do not judge for the first until you have heard the statement of the other how often do we take the time to study the different viewpoints before reaching a decision are we in check of our own ego to recognize our own biases when the case of our friend social circle the rich or the powerful are put before us are we sure we won't lean towards them by virtue of who they are not what they've done A good argument does not make the truth. A good person does not make them right. Strong evidence does not prove a case. Having more followers doesn't make you correct. We must take the time to understand an issue fully and deliberate before making a judgment. And where we have not done so, we should not speak. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam taught He who believes in Allah and the last day must either speak good or remain silent.